Hello and welcome to video 3 of this restoration vlog and in this video we will be looking at a fused seat post. The seat post is made of aluminium, the frame is made from steel and due to a process called galvanic corrosion the two dissimilar metals have fused themselves together. So the first stage was to see if I could twist the seat post out of the frame. So uh, it's not on this video, but what I did was I put the seat post in a vise and tried twisting the frame a few times and seeing if it would budge and um, nothing happened. So it was on to the second stage, which was to cut the end of the seat post off, leaving a few inches sticking out of the um, seat tube and uh, and then proceed to cut some notches on the inside of the seat post. The idea is to kind of see if, if then that will twist out uh, using some grips and kind of hoping that those pieces will collapse in on themselves and I'll be able to pull them out. So that didn't work either. The next stage was to apply some heat to the frame and the seat, seat post and then quench the metals with cold water to try and shock them into, you know, separating from each other. And uh, after a few attempts, this didn't work either. So after that, it was back into the vise and tried twisting the frame again and and what happened here was that the the seat post actually um, sheared off level with the frame so yeah kind of major fail on that part so this left me with my final option and that was to attempt to melt the aluminium out of the steel frame and to do this, I would need to use sodium hydroxide, which is quite dangerous because there's um, hydrogen fumes that come from it and it's really quite corrosive. So on goes all the PPE and off I go down to the hardware store to pick up some caustic soda, which I mix with water. Um, I think it was four parts of water to one part of caustic soda and that creates my sodium hydroxide solution and what I had to do was I had to block the the hole on the bottom of the seat tube where um, um, in, in the bottom bracket area and then I filled the seat tube up with uh, the solution and left it to bubble away I filled and emptied uh, the frame uh, a number of times over the course of about four hours to try and um, get this melted out and um, and yeah just had to be patient and eventually it disappeared which was a massive relief. Finally, I wanted to share this great tool that I made from scratch using a Scotch-Brite pad, some gaffer tape and a dowel. Um, and this cleaned out the inside of the seat tube brilliantly. Um, so I thought I'd share that with you. I uh, didn't realise how rude it looked and I thought it was quite funny. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you see, please like, subscribe and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheerio.